happy Monday, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I just woke up. That's why I look like crushed color, though. If you look at my face. <laughs> um, uh, my daughter suggested, Nyla suggested that I take you through the process of what I do when I wake up in the morning. A little bit of my routine. So one of the first things I do, obviously, when I get out of the bed, you see I've already started this. I spread my bed. As I said, I try to spread the bed. I really love doing this, but the truth is when I, when I spread the bed for some odd reason, I feel more organized for the day, I guess. So another morning ritual, and I mean, I do this literally every single day, is that I have a, up to, between two to four glasses of room temperature filtered water before I put anything, I mean, before I brush my teeth, before I do anything else, I consume at least two to four glasses of room temperature um, water. And the reason why I do this is it kickstarts your, um, your metabolism, in particular, your gastric juices, etc. It's really, really good for your stomach. Another thing I do in the morning, it's probably the third thing I do each morning, is I do a basic stretch. Now, the reason why I do this stretch is years ago, I had a really, really bad car accident and I messed up my lower back and my neck. So um, I do this every morning to reinforce the area and of course, to maintain flexibility. Now, what happened is after um, I had this accident, um, I started to do yoga years after, as well as weight training. So um, weight training, obviously to reinforce and build the muscles, we'll talk about it another time. And of course, the yoga for flexibility, because strength without flexibility is pretty much a waste of energy and time. So I'm going to take you through this basic um, stretch that I do every morning, designed specifically for me. I mean, it's a combination of what my yoga master, Donovan, taught me, as well as um, what Audrey, my physiotherapist, taught me. Now, disclaimer, I am not an expert. I'm simply sharing with you what I do in the mornings, and this helps me with my back. I mean, you know, you can try some of the stuff. Let me know if it works for you. All right, so let's go. By the way, I'm gonna brush my teeth yet. No, I'm not. They're not brushed yet. I don't even do that yet. That's a little further down on my list. Okay? So we're starting with um, what they call cat cow. Um, as I said, these are really designed for my lower back flexibility and strength as well as my core and my neck. So we're going to start with cat cow. You start on all fours. I'm going to try and shoot some different angles so you can see better. Um, you start you start on all fours and uh, hopefully you'll be able to sit basic to what I'm doing here. Breathing, of course, is really important in this process. But because of the stiffness in my lower back, I can't go as... Now what happened to me the other day now is I was taking up my daughter's bicycle up to the back of the vehicle and I, you know, come to me, twisted, <laughs> twisted it, agitated my back because my back had been fine. Um, so I've been working on, on getting rid of this because the thing is with my back, um, the, the, those little agitations can become problems. So that, that cat cow, it, it starts a process of um, loosening up the back, all right? <sighs> This side is where I'm having the discomfort.
All these exercises are designed primarily right, for my lower back. Great stretch, just feel it in your glutes, lower back. Like I said, all of these are to loosen up my lower back, reinforce the muscles, and build my core. Everything is designed to stretch and strengthen. Oh. Um, this again is designed for my lower back. And the key here is you don't crank yourself into it, you don't force yourself into it, you go as far as you can go and you stop right there. Alright, it took me a while to be able to even do this. <laughs> Alright, so this is the second to last exercise, again designed to loosen and reinforce my lower back. Need to be relaxed, back straight, um, not like this, but like this. So you use the hands to walk yourself forward. I said you don't crank yourself, you take your time. You take your time and you walk yourself back up. Switch your legs around. Repeat. Now, a final exercise, all right? I really like this exercise also. Um, it's a twist. So you take one hand, all right, my left hand, and you put it on the opposing thigh, or right at the back of the knee, okay? Right between the knee and the thigh. It's a twist, so you're gonna use your, the other hand, the right hand. So left hand, right thigh, knee. You're gonna use this hand, to anchor you so you, you, you stay forward. The key here is to not twist your neck, which is what most people end up, end up trying to do. It's to twist your actual trunk, your body. All right? And you go as far as you can go. Take a deep breath. Then your next side, right hand to the left side knee, left hand behind you to anchor you. What I do is I switch my legs around. <clears throat> And then I repeat the same thing.
Namaste. So those are the stretches I do for my lower back. And this is now what I do for my neck. Um, I have a condition called cervical spondylitis. Had it. Um, so the idea is it's injured to the bones. So you can't really fix that unless you do surgery. And then now the surgery. So <laughs> what you do is you build the muscles around the neck, at the base of the neck. And you build the muscles around the neck. All right. So I've been doing a lot of shoulder shrugs, etc. In the, in, um, when I'm lifting my weights or I'm working out in the home. So this now is what I do in the mornings for my neck. I'm going to take the hand, my, my hand and put it to the side of my head and I'm going to push as hard as I can with the hand. While I'm doing that, I'm going to be using the neck to, to the, 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 the muscles in the neck to do the, to, to do the opposite, to be pushing back against the hand. And then I'm going to repeat it all, all around my head, all right? Finally, all right. So the final thing now I have to do, which is the thing you have all been waiting for, you have all been saying, "Well, I'm not gonna do that." The man thing, "Not gonna do it." Well, is I now do that thing that we all must do. I pray that you all do this. Is I'm gonna go and brush my teeth. All right. Yeah, time to brush my teeth. Time to brush my teeth. Remember, I said these stretches are designed specifically for me. All right, so if you want to try them, you can try them. But I would say consult an expert first, either a yoga, a yoga instructor, a yoga master, or a, a physiotherapist, or you know, at least you know, because I'm definitely an amateur. All right, so let's go brush my teeth. Okay, so it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> Um, thank you for spending the morning with me. I'm gonna brush my teeth, um, and I don't I don't use anything fancy, you know, just a good old toothbrush, um, nothing powered or anything like that. And, I've, and I actually floss, um, and I floss before. My mom taught me something, and I and I went and I checked it, and I was terrified when I found out that you know, your the health of your teeth is directly linked to the health of your your heart. So the healthier your teeth is generally the healthier your heart. And um, poor, poor um, oral hygiene can mess up your heart. So that's scary. All right, so thank you for spending the morning. I'm about to hit the shower and clearly you can. No. <laughs> so um, thank you for spending the morning with me. Um, this is really Nyla's idea. I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But this is what I do um, each and every morning. Um, spread my bed water room temperature very important i do my stretches i brush my teeth wash my face well i brush my teeth and then i shower and then i wash my face so i will talk to you guys soon thank you for spending the morning with me bless up